Welcome to our tutorial on the cut part by sketch plane command. I want to create a sketch inside this part, and the first thing I'll need to do is insert a reference plane. In the reference field, right click and choose the YZ plane. Let's offset it by 50 millimeters. Tab. Click OK. Next, let's activate the sketch tool. We'll select this plane. See what happens? I need to sketch inside the part. Well, here's what I can do. Let's look at the visualization toolbar. We're going to select the cut part by sketch plane tool. The part gets cut, but only visually, not actually. Select normal too. Let's say I want to create a circle somewhere in the middle of this rectangle. I have nothing really to go from. Let's use the Project 3D Elements command. Now we'll click on this edge. You see that this edge gets projected onto this sketch. What I should have done before is activate Construction Element Options. Katia gives me a warning message. Projection onto the sketch plane failed. That's because right now this line is selected. Let's click OK. Deselect everything. Select this edge. Select the Project 3D Elements tool again. And now I've got a second line. Next, I'll select an axis. I get a warning again because this line was selected. Let's choose No. When I move the cursor along this line and pass the midpoint, I see a blue line. I click. Now, when my construction line is horizontal, it becomes blue. When I pass the midpoint of this line, I see a blue point again. Click again. Now, I just need to create a midpoint on this line. I select the Point tool. When I see the blue dot, it means I'm in the middle. Let's click. Let's select the Circle tool. Once again, snap to this point. Let's create a circle. Now we need to convert to regular geometry. We need to assign some dimensions as well. Let's say 15 millimeters in diameter. OK. Now we're ready to exit the sketch. Let's create a pad now. Activate the Pad tool. Under Type, let's choose Up to Next. We'll reverse the direction. Click OK. And we have our pad. And this concludes our tutorial on the Cut Part by Sketch Plane command.